Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can make two WordPress websites communicate with each other. You can create a workflow between different types of WordPress websites or WooCommerce website and you can make them communicate with each other. Let's consider an example of two WooCommerce websites. This is the first WooCommerce website and I have another WooCommerce website here. So I can create workflows between these two WooCommerce websites and I can make them communicate with each other. If someone makes a purchase on this website, it is going to send the details to the other website. From here, you can create different types of coupons and you can send the coupons to the user who has made a purchase on the other website. So you can integrate multiple WordPress or the WooCommerce website into the single dashboard. It is not only for the WordPress website or the WooCommerce website. You can integrate hundreds of applications into a single dashboard. Let me show you an example of the application. These are all applications that you can integrate into the single dashboard. You can create workflows between all these applications and you can make them communicate with each other. Name of the tool is Sure Triggers and in one of the previous videos I have shown you how to install the Sure Triggers on your WordPress website and how you can integrate your WordPress website with the Gmail account. So let's see how we can create a workflow between two WordPress or the WooCommerce websites. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website I'm using a WooCommerce. Now we are going to link two WordPress websites with each other and we will make them communicate with each other. For the integration of the multiple website, I'm going to use the tool called as Sure Triggers. This is the tool that I'm going to use. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to install the free Sugar Triggers plugin on the WordPress website and how to create account on the show triggers it is completely free as of now it is completely free if you have multiple websites you can install the show triggers plugin on different website now we are going to install the same free plugin on another wordpress website so let me go to the other wordpress website this is a second wordpress website and i'm also using woocommerce on this website let me show you the website first so this is the website this is a demo WooCommerce website. I have a detailed video of more than eight hours on how to create a WooCommerce website using WooCommerce and Elementor plugins. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. Now we are going to install the Sure Triggers on this website also. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for Sure Triggers. This is the plugin. I'm going to click on install now. I have already created an account on the Show Triggers website. In the previous video, I have shown you how to create it. Let's go to the website again and click on activate. It says, welcome to Show Triggers. We need to connect this website with the original account. So let's click on get started now. Now I need to log in to my Show Triggers account. So I have the username and password. Let's log in. Click on authorize and continue. So now this website is also linked to the same Show Triggers account. If I go to apps, you will see that we have WordPress and Gmail. If I go to WordPress, you will see two different connections. That is, that is the two website that we have linked into the same account. So this is the Param Fashion. This is the website Param Fashion and the other website is Param Freelance. So you will see both the connections under WordPress. So we have got two different connections for the WordPress here. And now we can use the sure triggers to create workflow between these websites. Now, instead of doing it in the WordPress dashboard, I'll go to the sure triggers account that is app.suretriggers.com. So I'll go to workflows. Now we are going to create a new workflow between these two WooCommerce websites. So click on create new workflow. And I'm going to name it as communication click on start building okay first we will need to add a trigger so click on add trigger 
now we have WordPress as well as WooCommerce installed on all the websites. Here you will see we have WooCommerce. So we are going to create a workflow using WooCommerce plugin. So when you install the show triggers plugin on your website, it is going to integrate the WordPress as well as the WooCommerce plugin and the other plugins which are installed on your website. So in this case, we have WooCommerce. So I'm going to select the WooCommerce and select event what event you want so i'm going to select let's say product purchased so when someone makes a purchase on which website it is it is going to ask you on which website because we have two websites integrated so we need to select on which website the product is purchased so i'm going to select the main website that is perm fashion so this is the website so if someone makes a purchase on this website the perm fashion website it is going to trigger an action so from here it, it is asking you to select a product so you can select different products from different categories so i'm going to select any product click on fetch data so all this data will be fetched so this is the trigger we have created woocommerce trigger when someone makes a purchase on the other website let's save this one we have got the trigger now what you want to do i'm going to create a workflow i'm going to wait for a minute delay so it will wait for one minute you can have different types of delay so i'm going to select the delay for one minute so it is going to wait for one minute click save so this is the action wait for one minute and what do you want to do after that I'm going to select another option WooCommerce and here you will see different events click on create coupon now we need to select the connection from here we can select the connections coupon code will be like just like July offer and what type of discount you want i'm going to keep it on percentage discount you can have different discount types here and these are the other details if you want to add expiry you can add expiry minimum spend maximum spends let's click on test action user for which coupon will be generated so from here you can select the user So I'm going to select the user email, billing email. And once you enter it, you can test the connection. And here you will see the search response percentage discount of 10%, free shipping not added, minimum amount is not added. So all these details are there. Click save. So this coupon is created. Now what you can do, you can in the next, you can click on the plus sign and look for gmail select event that will be sent email connection we have one gmail account linkedin so i'm going to use that one under two you can use the email address of the user and cc bcc whatever you want enter this is from name you can enter your business email address here from name and here you can enter the details enter the coupon code here and after that you can send the email right now we have created a workflow which is not between two commerce website however if you want to create it you can add new connection here. I'm going to click on the plus sign. First, it is going to send the coupon code. After that, we are going to create a new user on the other website. So let's select WordPress, select event. Here you can see the option create new user. So it is going to create a new user on the second website. That is this one. The first trigger was from the Param fashion website and it is now going to create a new user 
on the Perm Freelance website. So username will be the email address of the user from the first website. So you will see all these options that you can add from here. First name will be name of the person, building first name, last name, password. It is going to create the password automatically and role will be subscriber, test the action. So all these details will be added on the second website. So what we have done, we have fetched the user data from the first website and we have created a new user on the second website. Let's click on save. So this is the workflow that we have created. Now there are different types of workflows that you can create. This is just a simple workflow. You can create different types of workflow. You can create new user. You can send email from the other website. Let's say if you go to all apps, you will see different types of apps here. If you have learned dash courses on one website and on the other website, you have different products, then you can offer the learn dash courses to the customer who has bought products from the other website. So you can make all these application communicate with each other using the sure triggers dashboard. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.